It's been six months with the Canon G7X Mark II and I've done a lot of street photography with this camera. So I'm here today to tell you whether this camera is a great buy or if you should avoid it. I've also gotten a ton of requests to take raw photos with this camera. No editing, no presets. You guys want to see what the photos look like straight out of camera and we're gonna do that today. Now, if you're considering this camera only for video use, skip out on it. There are better options around that $629 range that'll actually offer you 4K. I found that by shooting JPEG with the Canon G7X Mark II, because of that smaller sensor, you lose a lot of the data, you lose a lot of the flexibility in post editing. And so that's why I recommend to shoot raw. It's tough to nail down why people love the G7X Mark II's picture quality so much, but it does hold up with cameras like the Fuji X100V, the Sony RX100, or even the Ricoh GR3. Except the Canon G7X Mark II is a fraction of the price, and you can generally find these for about $400 used if you know where to look. Battery life is phenomenal on this camera too. If you're only taking photos and not doing any video, expect to get a full day out of one battery. Now let's test the picture quality straight out of camera, and let's take a look at how that looks without any editing or any presets. As you can tell, the shots out of camera are killer. So whether you're a seasoned pro and you want something small that's going to pack a punch, or if you're just a beginner who's looking to get into photography and wants the best bang for your buck, the Canon G7X Mark II is the way to go. I love shooting with this camera because of how quickly you can pull it out of your back pocket and just get to snapping. Also, it is so super non-threatening. I've pointed this camera in people's faces in countries outside of the United States and no one seems to be bothered by getting their photo taken with a small compact Canon G7X Mark II. I also love the look and the feel and the overall build quality of the Canon G7X II. It feels like it's good for one drop and if you're anything like me, I drop all of my brand new cameras at least once. So it feels like it would survive and I love that about this camera. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you want to see more of the Canon G7X Mark II, click this video right here.